<laughs> Do you like his mustache? Um, it's a little bit too 1985 for me. But he's headed for a week, so I guess I'm kind of used to it now. Over the bridge in Trap Tower Park, we are going to walk about 20 minutes west to go to the Soviet War Memorial that's in Trap Tower Park. And then continue after that and maybe get some gelato because it is 75 but it feels like it's 85 in humidity. Luke and I have been living in Berlin for a year but sometimes we still feel like tourists. We decided to spend our Sunday visiting a park on the east side called Trepp Tower Park. We are taking the S-Bahn, which is the city's above ground train system. When you first walk out of the Espan, you immediately see the River Spree. I was not anticipating seeing the water so quickly, but it was actually quite pretty. There were a ton of people walking around, cycling, and also just relaxing alongside the water. There are plenty of places to rent kayaks or stand up paddle boards, and there were a few small sailboats just cruising down the river. Park is quite popular. It's actually the second largest park in Berlin, so we decided to walk a little bit further to get closer to the bridge and check out the views. Is that tree all pollen? What yeah. is that? Yeah, some sort of pollen. No, but like, I wonder what type of tree it is. I, I'm not a botanist. Could not tell you. Anytime. There's a guy mm. playing a trumpet over Bad. there. Badly. Um, anytime I ask Luke a question in nature, his response is, I don't know, I'm not a botanist. Not anytime. If you ask me about rocks, I would say I'm not a geologist. <laughs> all right. This tree is really pretty though. Look at this beast. We got them gum looking trees. Yeah, these trees over here look like gum the trees. The, yeah, the, the, the leaves don't, but the trunk of the tree reminds us of gum trees in Australia, in Australia our former home. His, film the trees, not me. Or I you. did film the tree. Why are you so. He's trying to be a director and I don't care for it. I am the director of photography. <laughs> what am I, the talent? Frame it this way. <laughs> sculptures lots of people right up there if you see right there is the soviet war symbol nope no what was it symbol of the soviet union the oh. hammer and sickle say that one more time what is a hammer symbol? and sickle a hammer yep. cling cling and a sickle so that's that right up there symbols of the workers what is the symbol for the workers workers Thank you. The Soviet Union. Yeah. The communists. 
Berlin is a very historic city, so it was really important to stop to visit the very impressive Soviet War Memorial in the middle of the park. It was created four years after the end of World War II to commemorate an estimated 80,000 Soviet soldiers who died in the Battle of Berlin. It was definitely a place that felt very solemn. Um, it was beautiful architecturally. There were a lot of people gathering to drop flowers, pay their respects, as it's been 75 years since the end of World War II. And there are quite a few people here because it, is, it has been 75 years since the end, is that right? The end of World War II, so. Liberation Day. Liberation Day. So there. There's um, some flowers. Over there. There's 75 in flowers. I don't know if they'll be able to see it because of the sun. I don't know. It's harder than it. Who's that? Lenin? Yeah, the father of Soviet Russia. And then Stalin took over. He was leading them during World War II. Oh, yeah, look at that. Some sort of quote from Stalin. A large something mission. It's really pretty. There's a bunch of them all lined up. Luke watches a lot of history, especially about World War One and Two. What history? Well, you watch a lot of movies about World War One and Two, but this is reflecting on World War Two. This memorial. mango and lemon sorbet from a cute place in our neighborhood of Friedrichshain and Luke is getting bubble tea from this place called Anne's Tea Hut, which is kind of cute. Ooh. If you end up liking this bubble tea, we might come here often since it's so close to our apartment. A large passion fruit. Ooh. Or a gross maracuya. <laughs> Is that alright? Yeah, I would prefer more sugar. Well, did you get extra sweet? No. What's the bubbles look like? They don't look like bubbles, they look like rectangular. It's passion fruit jelly. Passion fruit jelly? Mm -hmm. Is it really cold? Or, because it doesn't, I don't see any ice cubes. No, like it's cold. It's not really cold. All right, well, I guess I'll have to try it next to see how it is. I like bubble tea a lot, but Luke really, really loves it. I feel like any chance he sees it, he, right he takes it. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay. Mm. So, ma so many jelly balls. Mmm. Yeah, I actually I prefer it. the right amount of sweet for you. Yeah, it's the right amount of uh, <laughs> the right amount of sweet for me. But I like it to be like really cold, like ice cold. So far, so good though. I'm happy that we just found a new spot, Anne's Tea House. Anne, Anne. On Anne's Tea House, probably. Berlin is such an exciting city to explore. Leave a comment and tell me what you liked or what you'd like to see more of in future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.